What up, pop stars? And welcome back to another episode of Pursuit of Poly TV. We are so excited because today yes. we are diving deep into a very, very juicy subject, and that is our past, past relationships. relationships. Here, let's get right into it ASAP. Uh, but we are gonna kind of go over one of the most common questions that we get asked, which is, how do we meet women? How and meet how do we get into this situation? And so we wanted to just touch on the fact that, you know, maybe counter to what you may think about me and Sammy based on our, you know, outgoing personalities, we're actually quite shy when it comes to hitting on women. You know, it's like, you never know if a woman is into it or not, or if they're bi or whatever, and we're just kind of shy about it. So we have always had the most luck in every situation on dating apps. And I also want to preface that all three of our relationships and um, our girlfriends, we met on dating apps through my page. Yep. Mm -hmm. So Sammy has his own dating app page and you know, we found that like mostly heterosexual or maybe like bi-curious women have matched with us on Sammy's page and I think that the reason we've had more success on my page is because it's women that are already open to women. Yeah. So anyway, let's get right into it, our first relationship. So the first girl we ever really dated, uh, you know, when we started, you know, this adventure of the dating apps was we're gonna call her Millie. Millie. Uh, Millie was so beautiful. The first time we ever saw her in person, um, we were just like, golly. Uh, wow, like, you know. Oh, ooga. <laughs> the fact that we both were so attracted to her right off the jump was a really good sign. I think it started out like more sexual, right? Like at the beginning, um, you know, we were kind of just like doing the hookup part and not as much building the emotional and intimate like part relationship and yep. with Millie that was the first time that we kind of were like okay we're building so much more there's more depth to this relationship than just being a hookup it was really natural the way that we had no information about polyamory and then getting into that first or falling into that first relationship like we started out with a lot of rules and agreements between yeah. me and Sammy that we didn't realize were not really you know ethical, gonna be ethical or be helpful to mm -hmm. building the relationship but once we started taking trips together and like Sammy said, you know, we were going out of town, we realized like it wasn't going to be sustainable mm -hmm. for us to keep all of these rules and boundaries and agreements, nor was it really going to be the most beneficial to the relationships all around and like individually. So we have to say that Millie really brought us to the point where we started trying to Google polyamory and we started connecting to the polyamorous community online and started to get more terminology, um, you know, surrounding like these feelings that we were having mm -hmm. for our girlfriend at the time. Ultimately, we realized that, you know, this wasn't going to probably be, be a long term thing for Millie. Um, she wasn't from this country. She was going to go have to go home eventually. And that presented its own, you know, set of issues, set of issues. So, yeah, the relationship eventually ended. And that was, you know, we kept a friendship with Millie and we're so grateful for that uh, opportunity to connect with her because it led us into where, you know, to our next relationship and it just kept growing from there. Yeah, I think if it wasn't for, you know, obviously having the relationship with Millie, we may have never found polyamory. Um, and I think, you know, <clears throat> the thing about Millie was she was really into us and she was having fun with us, but I don't think she ever saw being with two partners for like her long-term vision for her life. Mm -hmm. So I think that was another reason why it didn't really yep. pan out between mm -hmm. the three of us. So to say the least, we really had fun with Millie mm -hmm. and we learned a lot about ourselves. We learned a lot about, you know, dating with multiple people. And I think that's what really led us to polyamory in the first place. So yeah. thanks to Millie. Thank you, Millie. <laughs> So if you have any other questions or you're curious about any of the more of those juicy details of those past relationships, please drop it in the comments and you know, hopefully we'll get to that. And if you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. We truly do appreciate you. If you have any more suggestions for future videos, please also drop that in the comments. Yes, if you haven't already, follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. We also have our Patreon, we have our podcast, and um, we have more great polyamorous content coming your way. Shout out to all the pop stars out there. We love you guys, and Peace we'll see you next time on Pursuit of Poly TV.